guys, Evan with Evan's Landscape here. Wanted to talk real quick about strategies for plowing lots. Now there's not one right way to plow a lot. There's, you can do it a million different ways. The way I have found most efficient, and I've done this for years, I've plowed for years, uh, shoveled, worked with snow for years. And so you kind of find the, the tricks of the trade and you get more efficient as time goes on. So I'm in this truck over here. We got uh, one of my guys, Dakota, out in the, the loader, the cat, and then we got Paul killing it on the sidewalks up there. Um, so I just wanted to run real quick, um, kind of down how I do it. Now the first thing we do when we show up to the site is we come in off the road, we find the driveway, and we plow straight along one side of the lot. Now we're gonna wanna do this for the length of the truck. You find the length of the truck, and this will make sense in a little bit. You find the length of the truck and you're gonna wanna make that width of a plowed area all the way down. So the truck's in the way, but I come in and we come straight down. There's a curb along here. We come straight down and we plow the width of the truck. Okay guys, so what we got going on here is we have our first drive here. We have our outside lot line um, coming like that. Then we have our middle drive. There's two drives on this lot. Um, and again, this is just a representation of um, just a, a super simple square lot. Um, and so what I was showing you out on the, on the actual lot was I come in uh, from this first lot, push this snow in, and you can even bring it all the way down up to the end, uh, make a little pile up here. And what we'll wanna do here is keep going up this way, keep shoving it up this way to the length of the truck. And so say we have our, um, our snow plowing rig is 20 feet um, long. We're gonna wanna make this about at least 20 feet wide uh, because then what we'll do, we'll have our width um, starting there and say our uh, 25 foot mark is there. So I plowed up along here. I think this is about um, probably five or six passes out to this point right here. You can see that's where the snow starts. And then after that's cleared, we come perpendicular to that and we start on the other side, which would be this side of the lot. And then we work our way that way. The second thing we'll do after we push this in, we'll come in and we'll push this, uh, this uh, in drive in like that, create a little pile here. And then, so we'll push that in far enough so then we can come back over here and we can start going this way. At this time, we'll take this pile all, all the way down here and just pile it up along here. So then we'll back up, we'll come down here again, push it all this way, just keep pushing the snow back. In this case, this was north. We'll just keep pushing it up this way, just creating just kind of like a windrow, a, a pile of snow up along here. We'll just keep working our way east The reason we cleared up this out first is because once our truck is perpendicular, we shove all the snow all the way down there. And then every time we're backing up to this edge of the lot, we're sitting on clear pavement. This is already clean. We drop our plow. We won't leave any uh, dribbles, any mess to clean up later. Um, and you can't even tell we've dropped the plow here. And so we shove it 
all the way down to that end. So let's run down there and see what we do later. So what we're doing now is we're taking the path that the plow truck uh, normally takes. And so we work from, um, in this case, left to right, and we are just wind rowing it all the way over here. So we'll uh, look at the wind row here. So as the truck comes down, the truck will come down here and just keep pushing it off to the truck's right, up towards uh, towards that unit up there, and then we'll shove it into the pile. So this is our pile out here, um, existing snow pile that we want to get all the snow up into this area so we don't have a pile here, we don't have a big pile down here, we don't have a pile over here. We wanna keep it as open as possible. And so uh, we just have our windrow over here, and so once we finish off this entire lot, then, um, our one little pile will already be collected up here and then we have our window over here so then what we do is we take either the truck or the loader whatever we have and then we just clean up that window and shove it up into that pile just shove that entire thing up there so if you're not confused enough already this is where the snow goes after we clear the main part of the lot we just keep shoving it in this case on the north side of the lot we leave it here as you can see, it's all piled up. It's kind of a mess, um, but we'll just assume, or we'll just take this as another windrow. And once we get done plowing the main part of the lot, we're gonna take our equipment, um, truck or loader, and just shove this then east or into the, into the pile that we have staged in the corner of the lot. So hopefully that made sense. My fingers are freezing off. I gotta go back in the truck. Um, but let me know if that helped. Hey guys, I figured I'd run across the road and see what the loader is doing to show you in a different lot. Um, again, this is a square one, it's pretty easy, but same principle applies. So what he did, he came in, shoved it down there to make the, the area so he can turn around on clean pavement. And then he came in, pushed it all this way, and is working back and forth towards where he is now. So let's go see what uh, is going on down here. So yeah, he's just working back and forth, moving it all towards this way. Because our pile is up along there. Now in this case, we don't have one big uh, round pile, we have a pile all the way at the end. And so that's what he's doing. He's every pass going down there and just leaving it at the far end there. Again, he's just windrowing it back towards this one edge. So hopefully this video helped you out on plowing parking lots faster, more efficiently, more safely, all that good stuff. Um, this is the way we do it. This is uh, some of the techniques we use uh, on simple lots like these. And so if you have any questions, definitely hit me up in the comments. I will respond with any information I do have. I'll help you guys out. I'll help you guys plow some lots and make some money. So, um, 
I'll leave it at that. I might do a residential video coming up um, on residential, say, driveways and different things like that. So let me know also if that would be uh, helpful. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Stick around, guys. This is the way that I found is the most efficient way to clean clean a lot. And of course, there are you know a lot of lots that are not square like this. Um, they are not this easy. They will have uh, you know say an island over here. We'll have to go around with you know a, a tree um, in the lot uh, somewhere. We'll have uh, you know another you know circle drive or whatever. Um, and so we take a little different approach to those, but this is the, the basic uh, just of plowing a square lot efficiently. So hopefully this helps. Um, see you on the other side.